more intimate than a laptop, and it's so much more capable than a smartphone with this gorgeous large display. So this is the lock screen. I unlock it. The icons fly in. Let's go right to the, to the web. So here we are at apple.com, and I'm just going to go to Safari. I just touch the bookmarks icon and touch the New York Times, let's say. And here we are right at the New York Times. You can see how fast it is. And I can just uh, scroll around here and look at the whole front page of the New York Times. Anywhere I want to go, anything I want to make bigger, I can make bigger. If I want to go into a story, I can just touch it. And I go into that story. Back to the front page. And so I can browse around the New York Times so easily. It's really great. I go down here. You know. <laughs> See what's happening today? And again, just so easy to go into a story like this. See the photographs, read the story. It's that simple. Let me go to another website here. Uh, let's go to Time Magazine. See what's up in Time's website. Just flick through the website, see what's happening. Go to another one here, uh, Fandango. Want to buy some tickets to a movie? Grab the tablet that's in the kitchen. Go to Fandango on your iPad and buy your tickets. It's that simple. The whole website in the palm of your hands. Let me go to another one. It's kind of nice National Geographic. And again, you know, we can look at this in landscape mode if we'd like. Go back to portrait. Very, very simple. And it adapts to the way I want to use it. And again, I can zip around this website just touching on pictures of animals, what I want to see. It's just gorgeous. Right in the palm of your hand. So, that is browsing the web. Let's go to email. So here I've got a message. As you can see, I can have photographs in the message. And uh, I can have my inbox right here. I can turn it uh, sideways like this. And I can also browse messages just by having my inbox here on the left. Take a look and see what uh, kind of messages I've got. Here's another one. This is the. Uh, Paris Metro. Let me go focus on that message here. And I can just, uh, you know, make this as big as I want and check out the, uh, the Metro in Paris. Oh, Napa Valley. Here's a PDF. You can just tap on the PDF. It displays it. Shows me all the wineries. And uh, I can plan out my trip to Napa Valley. So that's how simple mail is. Now, if I want to uh, reply to a message uh, or uh, go ahead and send a message, I just hit the Compose button here. And uh, up pops this gorgeous keyboard. And let's say Scott Forrestal and Phil Schiller. And uh, oops. You know, there we go. It's that simple to do email on the iPad. Okay, next, let's go into photos. This is what photos looks like. I can uh, just look at everything as a list of photos, again, in portrait or landscape, and just fly through. I can look at any photo like this, 
by tapping on it. And again, turn it from portrait to landscape and just flick through my photos. It's that simple. I also can look at my photos as albums and it grabs the metadata from any PC or Mac. And if I'm on a Mac,